Hi! Three training videos in 48 hours. I think we're on a roll here. But I was just talking to one of the girls on our team and we were talking about VIP content. So I decided that I wanted to jump on and throw some ideas out there for you guys. So when I first started, um, I did a lot of searching, Googling, YouTubing, a lot, like a lot. Like I found superstar directors who are making $30,000 a month with this company and I literally sucked in all the information they gave me, right? And I, I literally did things based off of what they did. Um, not word for word, not exactly how they did it, but I did it my own way, so I am, like, personal about it um, and authentic. Being authentic is very, very big in this business. Um, you have to have your own flair, do your own thing, do what makes you stand out. Um, put things together that m looks pretty because you think it looks pretty. So... In your VIP group, I don't want you guys to overwhelm your customers with just posting about products. Um, you know, every two hours, so Facebook algorithm is like every hour and a half. Like if you post before an hour and a half, it like blocks out both posts. I don't know. Facebook's always working against us in some type of way. But if you you know, plan, like I was talking about, I don't know, I think this was yesterday, I was talking about front-loading your calendar. So front-loading, planning it out. You can do one post of Sensi a day. So say we do washer whiffs, right? Um, your first post of the day should probably be like an interactive post. So um, Tina and Amanda, who are... Um, our upline they they talk about VIP content a lot they actually just posted something about how they plan theirs out on a, a notebook on um, our team page and in the Radiant Rockstars team page um, so like a interactive post kinda you could just go on Pinterest and look up this or that it's literally it'll be like um your morning routine do you do this or this like do you make your bed or you don't make your bed and then you like circle one put yours in the comments and tell people to do that people love stuff like that people absolutely love giving their opinions on things and like I love giving my opinion on things and if somebody over here is like I don't make my bed in the morning I'd be like what that's crazy you don't make your bed well I do like interaction you want your group to have interaction. You want people to get involved with your group. You want them to see you doing more fun things other than just posting Sensi to try to get their money. You know what I mean? I'm like literally staring at my eyebrows right now. I just got them done and I feel like they're super thin, but they're kind of archy. You know what I mean? I'm, I think I'm liking it. But anyways, so you want your um, customers, your VIP customers to interact with you. Um, ask a random question. Uh, Tina does it all the time. She'll literally ask, is a hot dog a sandwich? And you're like, what? Becky, did you just say you didn't like my eyebrows? That's freaking rude. Anyways, so she literally is always like, hey, you know, settle this debate. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Or... Do you like almond milk versus cashew milk? Like, just random stuff like that. People love giving their opinions. So they will. And it'll boost your interaction. It'll make people see your posts more. Post on your stories, people. On your stories. Interact with your stories. Oh, I don't make... I thought you were talking about my eyebrows. I was like, hold up. <laughs> um... I sometimes make my bed, but you know what I mean. So, oh God, my train of thought. Oh, stories. So how I get people to interact with my stories is I will like take a picture of like a wax bar. You've probably seen it. Like, and I'll just be like, hey, this one. 
and then I'll put the description, and then the next slide will be another bar with a description, and then the last slide will be like, which bar would you choose? Or which bar should I put in my living room? Or which, which scented pods should I put in my bathroom? Stuff like that. People interact with that. Like, they love stuff like that. So that's very important, I feel like, for a VIP group. You want these people not only to... I, I think of all my VIPs as my friends. Like, I talk to them about other things other than Sensi, you know? Like, you need to find common interests. So, like, common interests, like, say, I love dream catchers. As you could, <laughs> as you could tell by our group name, I love dream catchers. So I follow a page about dream catchers and I talk to people on there. You never know. A, a good conversation can literally lead to a good customer. So do that. I love sunflowers. I'm in a sunflower group. I comment on things. People see me. People add me. We become friends. Like stuff like that. You need to find people with common interests or people that are very opinionated, but in a good way, you know? You want people to interact with you more than sensey. You don't want to be that person that's just like, hey, give me your money. Because nobody, I don't like that. You're not going to like that. Like, I hate, like, there's a company out there, and I can't say the name, <laughs> but you probably know it, and they're always messaging you like, hey, I'm giving away uh, $1,500 on the 1st of May, Will you post this on your page for me for an entry? Like, that's annoying. That's annoying. I don't do that. We don't do that. As a company, we don't do that. No cold messaging. You need to learn how to build relationships with people. And that was something I had a very hard time with it in the beginning because I, I am a very, like, I don't even know how to say it, introverted extrovert kind of deal. Something like that. Like, I don't want to be around people at all. But I'll talk your ear off all day. We could talk all day. But I'm I'm good. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I just, you know, you could stay over there, but we could have a conversation. Love you, but stay over there. I don't know. It's really weird. I get in moods where I just don't, I'm, I'm good with the public. And then I get in uh, moods where I'm like, not so good with the public. <laughs> it's it's very hard. But um I'm I definitely learned to open up because of this business. So I want you to do that too. Scary things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to do the scary things to get where you want. And like I said in my last video, if you want it you'll make it happen. Go live. Becky goes live all the time. I, personal page, I don't go live, unfortunately. Um, but I do talk on my stories. Talk on your stories. Talk on your stories. Talk about what you're doing. Talk about why you're changing this wax. Talk about how the fan diffuser makes your bathroom smell great. Talk about how your car smells so freaking good because of your mini fan or your car bar, you know? You just got to interact with people. Interact. Get to know people. You have to get to know people. Because if you're constantly just sending them specials after specials or, or like, on Facebook Messenger, you're just sending them, like, what's going on now? Like, oh, here are our deals. But you're not even asking them how they are. You, ha you guys have to learn to interact with people. Um, a lot of you know how to. Um... I'm, I'm not, like, pressuring you, like, hey, talk to those people, you know? I'm just trying to get my point across, and sometimes it's hard for me to do that. And sometimes it used to be hard for me to sell Sensi, like, because I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea, but I learned. There are tons of YouTube videos, training videos our team page has training videos that are saved, and you'll probably see me in a little camera in the corner with my mic off, not talking, but chronic bee face, just staring at the camera, listening to Tina or Amanda talk. <laughs> but I'm better in person than online. Yeah, you are. You definitely are. Um, I'm better online than in person. I'm way better. I don't... Eye contact, it's, I don't know if it's anxiety or something, but 
I'm not, I'm more outgoing online. <laughs> but, um, so VIP just, you know, get, do something that engages your, your customers. That's not Sensi related. It can always turn it into something Sensi related though. Like, I don't know, like for example, just some, like a, how you use products, you know? Like, hey, does anybody else's kitchen sink get a little grimy sometimes? And then people will be like, what? Yeah, I hate it. Oh, my God. And you're like, yeah, well, I just, I use this counter cleaner. It's amazing. You should try it. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's like you have to solve their problem. If they have a problem, their car stinks. Okay, hey, I got something for you. Solves your issue right there. Take a car bar. You'll enjoy it. But, um... Interacting with your customers, um, other than being sensory related, is is very important. Um, I believe a lot of my customers are more as my friends now, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with, you know. So just guys, look at my shirt. Stress, blessed, and wax obsessed. Isn't that great? Um. Yeah, so interact, become friends with people. Don't just look at them and see dollar signs. Get to know them because, I mean, you wouldn't treat your customers and your VIP group how you would love to be treated by somebody else that has a business. You know? Thank them. Show appreciation. Ask how their day is. Like, just randomly be like, hey, I was thinking about you. How are you doing? Or how are the kids? I saw you went to the park. Did they have fun? Like, stuff like that. Get to know these people because I feel like friendships last way longer than just customers. You know what I mean? They'll, they trust you. They're going to buy from you if they trust you. They know you, you know? All right. That's all I have to rant about. <laughs> if you guys have any questions on VIP content, there is a ton of trainings I can tag you in on our... Um, Scented Mermaids page because in the past two years, I think Tina and Amanda have done a lot of um, content uh, related videos and posts. So if you have any issues, let me know. I'm always here. Love you guys. I mean it. Have an awesome rest of your day.